And the Pennsylvania House wrapping up its special session after passing a dual path for victims of childhood sexual assault. Two bills that provide a two-year window for victims to file civil suits against abusers and institutions receive bipartisan support on their third and final consideration this morning. Erie News Now State Capitol Correspondent Brendan Scanlon heard reaction from the vic victims and advocates. Brendan, they're glad this bill, these bills passed, but there's still work to be done, right? Good evening, Mike. That's exactly right. You know, it's been a very long and frustrating process trying to get this uh, two-year window across the finish line. And even with today's House passage, it still faces an uncertain road ahead. This morning, the Pennsylvania House showed signs of productivity. The lower chamber passed a dual pathway for a two-year window, House Bill 1 and House Bill 2, with bipartisan support. To all the victims and survivors out there, we have your backs. House Speaker Mark Rossi, who was a survivor of clergy abuse when he was 13, says justice is long overdue. Now all eyes are on the Republican-controlled Senate. Do they have the courage on that side of the building like the victims and survivors do? Every day the Senate takes to pass this law is a day that children are at risk. Marcy Hamilton has been fighting for the window since 2005. She says the Senate should focus on passing the window not just for victims, but for parents as well. The fact we have an opening statute for limitations means these children have been at risk of hidden predators. Parents need the truth. It needs to be passed immediately. Hamilton wants to see the Senate run both bills, especially the statutory bill, House Bill 2, in order to provide justice as soon as possible. This is giving the Senate the possibility of fixing this issue for children across the Commonwealth now. Uh, if they were to vote on it next week, we could have a window open immediately. Razi and other survivors say delaying justice is denying justice. He says the choice is simple. As in, on this issue, it's very simple. You either support victims or you support pedophiles or you support protecting institutions. Which one is it? Now, some lawmakers who voted against the two-year window say they're concerned about things like a lack of sovereign immunity, as well as potentially added costs for taxpayers. Now, Rossi and Hamilton say this has always been about justice and giving survivors their day in court, never about the money. Reporting live at the state capitol for Erie News Now, I'm Brendan Scanland. Mike, back to you.